Hi. Today we're going to talk about Hemohem, the U.S. patents that it holds, and go through some studies on the health benefits. Hemohem can benefit people's health in a variety of ways, as you can see here, and the studies that we'll look at a little bit later will talk about many of these. Hemohem was developed by the South Korean government to aid the immune systems and general health of their nuclear scientists who are being exposed to a lot of radiation. Radiation is one of the things that can have a very detrimental effect on your immune system. And these are the proprietary ingredients that Hemohem is made up of. And what these ingredients do is they help to activate natural killer or NK cells. These are the cells that go out and uh, directly destroy the um, harmful cells and pathogens in the body. It activates your other immune cells and creates cytokine, which helps regulate the immune response. There's a list of patents here from different countries in the world, but if you take a look at the one on the bottom there for the USA and that number and punch it into the Patent Office website, you will be able to pull up all the patent information about Hemohem as well as the the, what it's used for and there's some highlights of them here just display that you can dig into at the patent office itself but the main things are to look at here are how it helps with the immune system hemohem activates natural killer cells these immune cells recognize and kill the cells of someone's body that have been infected with a pathogen it also activates the B cells these are the white blood cells and produce proteins called antibodies that bind selectively to antigens. Finally, hemohem also activates your T cells, another white blood cell. These ones recognize antigens and substances that prompt an immune response. Inside all of us lurks a serial killer. A killer whose primary function is to kill and then kill again. These are cytotoxic T cells, a specialized member of our white blood cells. They patrol our bodies, identifying and destroying virally infected and cancer cells. And they do so with remarkable precision and efficiency. There are about 5 million T cells in a teaspoon of our blood, engaged in the ferocious and unrelenting battle to keep us healthy. These amorphous blobs move around quite rapidly, pushing out their leading edge and probing their environment as they go. When a cytotoxic T cell finds a cancer cell, membrane protrusions rapidly explore the surface of the cell checking for the telltale signs of cancer. They kill their targets using poisonous proteins visible here in red. These cytotoxic granules move down special pathways in the cell called microtubules to the interface between the T cell and the cancer cell. The T cell punctures the surface of the cancer cell and delivers its deadly cytotoxins. This is very important in our bodies where cells are packed together as it focuses the lethal hit on the target and minimizes collateral damage to the neighboring healthy cells. The fate of the cancer cell is sealed. The T cell then moves on, hungry to find another victim. Now, if you go to the National Library of Medicine, located at pubmed.gov, its the address is located in the upper left, type in the word hemohem. There will be 16 results of different studies that have been done on hemohem on a variety of things that we're all gonna go through here in a moment. Now, I'm gonna give a quick summary of each of the studies, but feel free to pause the screen if you wanna read a little bit more information, or if you really wanna get a lot of information, this is where you're going to want to go. So with that, let's take a look at the first study here, briefly, that um, this is a study done that shows the potential to treat pulmonary inflammatory diseases such as COPD. These are things that are becoming more and more prevalent in society. Usually they require people to have like a CPAP machine, other medications to help them breathe properly. 
Another one is a study on how it can mediate dendri dendritic cells. This is, helps with your immune response. Another cell, again, that modulates immune cell activity and cytokine secretion. So again, that's helping to boost the immune system's uh, effectiveness. Um, an anti-inflammatory effect. This affects a lot of different types of inflammation that might occur throughout the body that's pretty prevalent. is a result of allergies, diseases, bad diets, things like that. Um, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, these types of radiation uh, treatments that are used in cancer patients. So just like the South Korean science scientists, even though they're treating cancer, it's still um, it's harmful to the immune system in general. So anything that can help benefit and help sustain the immune system for treatments like these is great. For diabetics, uh, when you think about the pancreatic pancreatic beta cells, that's what that funny B means is beta. Um, it's been shown to have the potential to lower group glucose and modulate uh, the, the immune agents there. When we talk about chemotherapy and the anti-tumor effects of what chemotherapy can do, it can also help uh, be beneficial to that and enhance that efficiency. If you or you know somebody that has gastritis or suffers from gastric ulcers, which are very painful, Hemohim has been shown to be a potential candidate to treat that. As we age, as mammals age, just like these mice here, um, the immune system ages as well, just like everything else, and it's not as effective as it once was, not as strong, not as robust. But Hemohim has been shown to help restore uh, aged and impaired immune systems in mice, therefore should be um, eff efficacious for humans as well. Another one on radiotherapy and enhancing the efficacy against tumors. This one here it covers the prevention and treatment of polycystic ovaries syndrome. So another good one that if you know you have concern about that to get, dig into those details. Um, intestinal injury can occur following a radiation. So again, this is another, usually you're gonna encounter this with these days with chemotherapy and radiotherapy. So you know, anything that can help reduce that intestinal injury um, helps with the digestive system as a result. Allergic airway inflammation, another one very prevalent uh, with people who have allergies, asthma, especially asthma triggered by allergies, that's all gonna cause inflammation within your airways. It makes it difficult to breathe. Um, this one here is going to look at the immune response uh, and how it's going to be regulated better by the use of Hemohim. Uh, another study, this one's on anti-obesity agents and being able to have some treatment in ob obesity there. That would be a good study to take a look at if that interests you. And finally, um, another one here where it's beneficial for anti-cancer treatments and to help with reducing adverse effects of those treatments. So. Definitely another one to take a look at if, uh, if that interests you as well. So Hemohim itself is only available to the general public through the Atomy online store. There might be some places that are selling it uh, at, at a marked up price, but the issue with that is it's just resellers and they may not even have the general product, or the genuine product, and they also may not support their sales as Atomy will. 